Today I attended my first Sail GP event. This is my experience. It was champagne sailing conditions down in Plymouth. The light winds that they'd forecast early in the week didn't materialise and we had a nice medium breeze making for champagne sailing conditions. I was really impressed with the spectator area. We were based on Plymouth Hoe, which is a big stretch of grass, providing a natural amphitheatre to watch the racing. In the centre, there is Smeaton's Tower, the iconic red and white lighthouse, which characterises Plymouth. The spectator area was cordoned off. You could only get in with a ticket, and there was no tickets available on the day. However, you could watch the racing, arguably from a better standpoint, without a ticket, uh, in the areas around the spectator area. There were lots of stalls from businesses around the event. RS had a boat stand. There is Beyond Meat, the Meatless Burger Company. They kept me going throughout the day with burgers and sausages. If you haven't tried them, I seriously recommend checking them out. Personally, I like them just as much as their meat alternatives. I thought it was a nice touch for each team had picked their own theme song. So when they sailed past, they blasted it out the speakers. And there was a real fan connection with the sailors on the boat because the racing was so close to the spectator area, the boats were able to hear the cheering from the local crowds. Okay, this is the Spanish song. Flamenco. And we have Spain's LGP team, held by Phil Robertson, Ravi Ferdinand. Before the racing, each team did a flyby, so it was nice to see the boats really up close and personal, unlike any other sailing event I've been to before. It does seem with Sail GP, they really are putting the fans first. So obviously, sailors are taking time out from practicing to sail by, so it's nice to see them do that. Into the first race now, it was nice to actually see these boats racing for the first time. But I must say, it was still a little bit hard to follow uh, and I feel for any spectators who weren't sailors because these boats don't aim straight towards where they want to go. They go zigzagging everywhere, so it's quite confusing to work out who's in the lead and where they're going. Having said that, I think this was the best sailing event I've ever watched live and that's probably because of the sheer speed and size of the boats. Even if you don't know what's happening in the racing, they're just good fun to watch. And then finishing right in front of Plymouth Hoe. So one more manoeuvre coming up from Tom Slingsby and his crew. So we have Tom Slingsby Helmy coming in to take the first win. Okay, give Australia a big old round of applause. They've done brilliantly. They led from the front. motorized they don't have an anchor they don't have a string they are keeping themselves in that spot having groundings like that just means that the crew are constantly in sync they'll be communicating all the time to each other I thought it would be a nice idea to get a fast forward sailing t-shirt so if people bumped into me at the event then they know who I am so I actually thought the t-shirt turned out really good so if you'd be interested in getting a fast forward sailing t-shirt uh, I might get a few made so um, let me know in the comments and if there's enough interest I'll get some made.
see the boats. Respect due to this man. Respect this. Check his channel. What's subscribe, his channel subscribe, called? subscribe. Ring the, Ring the bell. Fast the fast forward. forward. Sailing. Fast forward sailing, check out his channel and luckily you'll be able to see us as beautiful people on there. If you get if you get on your under face, he's gonna give you a Ferrari. Yeah. You know so right. subscribe no to comment. this man. And, and what you're, is it called you're again? doing good. Fast forward sailing. Yeah. yeah. Fast, fast forward sailing. Subscribe to subscribe to his channel, fast forward sailing, and you will be disappointed. You're we are the crocker cousins. You'll see what's we been going on today. Cousins. You will see all Aye. the folks right. in Plymouth. Peace out. So peace Go out. On. One thing I did find interesting was how long before the racing starts if the teams were practicing. So I got there about two hours before the event and there was already many of the teams out there practicing. Interestingly though, the other teams were practicing for far longer than the British team. It makes you think perhaps there was something a little bit wrong on the boat, especially as they underperformed in the first two races.